Hello everybody, my name is Aaron and welcome back to another DVD tutorial. But today I'm going to be teaching you how to stretch your res and how to install reshade and what filters I use. For those of you in a hurry, I use 1600 by 1080 for my res and I'm going to throw up on screen what settings I use for reshade. I don't want to make this video too long, I'm going to be very quick about it, but first you're going to right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel if you have it, click that. Don't mind all the icons over there. Um, it'll bring up this screen, you're going to be, want to be on change resolution, I don't know if it auto goes to another tab, but you're going to want to be here, change resolution. And you're going to come down to customize right here. So I already have a custom one right here, but I'm going to create another one. So you'll create custom resolution. You'll put this to what res you want to do. Um, I'm going to do 1440 by 1080 um, just because it'll be new and it won't give me an error. Uh, refresh rate. Um, you usually can just keep this the same. It usually is whatever your monitor is, but if yours is different and it's um, changed here, and that's really all you want to change. Then you press test. It'll come up saying, do you want to save this resolution? Press yes or no, if you don't. You'll see your monitor is flashing like mine is right now. I don't know if it's doing that in the recording too, but you will see that it's normal. Don't worry. Um, and then after you do that, it'll pop up right here. So press OK. And if you scroll up, this is your normal native res. If you scroll up though, you'll have your custom reses. I personally use 1600 by 1080. It's the most comfortable for me. A lot of people go lower um, to 1440 by 1080 or even lower than that. There's some gamers out there that use 1080 by 1080. It's an experience. All right, so now we changed your resolution. You can kind of tell that it is slightly stretched. Kind of looks like someone sat on your screen. Um, one thing you're gonna want to do, your screen probably doesn't look like mine right now. Don't freak out, it's okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here and go to a, adjust desktop size and position. And you're gonna change it from aspect ratio, which is the default, to full screen. Once you do that, you'll press apply down here. And then it'll be across the entire screen. You don't have to worry about the black bars. After you have this done, you can load up Dead by Daylight like normal. You don't have to do anything else. It'll already be stretched for Dead by Daylight. All right, so now that we have our screen stretched, now let's head over to reshade.me. This link will be in the bio. So we can get our filters, make our game look better. Dead by Daylight by default is a very dark game. Yes, it makes sense. It's supposed to be dark. It's more pleasing to the eye with some of these filters. It, it's, it's better to look at for you and if you're a streamer for your viewers. So we'll just click download right here. It scrolls down for you. Then you download reshade 4.8.2. That's the current version. Uh, you might be watching at a later date and it might be different, but this is the one you're gonna wanna press. All right, and now we have our reshade set up right here. You're gonna click here to select a game and manage its reshade installation. Let your games load real quick, I'll skip ahead. While your games are popping up, you will see an easy anti-cheat launcher. You don't want this, it won't work. You do want Dead by Daylight Win 64 shipping. This is the correct one. Then you'll have this pop up. It'll have all these different things you can select. You're just going to want to do direct 3D 10, 11, 12, just the default. Um, I have an existing reshade. You won't see this, uh, but we'll update this. Um, you know, have a screen like this. It'll have all kinds of different settings you can choose from. Easiest thing is you can just uncheck all and then check all. If there are some ones you know that you don't want, you can uncheck them, but this is just the easiest way. So press OK. It'll load. Some more will come up. All right, reshade setup was successful. Now we can load up Dead by Daylight. When you're loading up Dead by Daylight, if you see this reshade menu up here, that's how you know you did it right. It will say press home on your keyboard to bring up the menu. So we'll press home. So the four main ones you're gonna want is Adaptive Sharpen, Clarity, Vibrance, and Technicolor 2. This is my personal preference and I have tweaked them to my liking. Um, you guys can tweak it to how you guys like, but this is just mine. If you want your game to look how mine looks, this is how you do it. So these four I have right here, and here's the settings that I tweaked for them. Vibrance and Technicolor give the game some saturation and brightness and just really make the colors pop. Clarity and Adaptive Sharpen just go hand in hand, but Adaptive Sharpen is probably your most important one. If we take this one off, the game looks very blurry. If I'm to zoom into Nia right now, with Adaptive Sharpen off, then I turn it on. It's crazy how blurry the game is actually, and you don't realize it until you use a filter like this. 
One, one good thing to note that I forgot about was if you want to have your overlay different than say like the default preset, what you're gonna wanna do is just press this little plus right here and then you can rename it to whatever. Um, press space and then it'll load up. And then you can uh, check off whatever you want. Act at the top. So that's how you do it. Reshade does work with OBS or recording software, so you don't have to worry about display capture or if you were to be screen sharing in Discord. It all works there. Um, they will see the changes you made. It's not just your, on your monitor. Also, with stretched res in OBS, you will have to change a setting if you don't want the black bars. Your monitor is it's stretched out. It doesn't have the black bars, but in OBS, it still picks up as if it does. Right click on your game capture and press filters. I'm gonna bring it over into the display capture. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna pull up something called scaling and aspect ratio. Press the plus sign and it'll be right there. And you're just, this doesn't really matter, but you do wanna put 1920 by 1080, which will fill it out. If, if I were to hide the scaling, it will just do that. And you don't want that. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys. And if there's anything I missed, Please let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know if there's any other tutorials you guys want me to cover. Um, it has to do with Dead by Daylight or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching again. And I'll see you guys in the next video.